I tell you, today was awesome. I haven't made this much money in so long. And actually before, most of that was rideshare miles when I was making this kind of money. So let's get right into it. I made a total of $228 today. I drove 180 miles. So let's back up and I'll quickly step you through this. My name is Russ and I make videos to help drivers like you, whether you're new or experienced, make more money and improve your ratings. So today started off really quickly with Amazon Flex and that was at 6.30 to 8.30. I had three drop-offs. Then I ended up doing a Grubhub order and I ended up getting another Amazon Flex order. This was the, this was the key to today. I was at Whole Foods Market and it took me out to Malibu. It was just one customer, 11 packages. And as you can see, that order went very smoothly. That kickstarted my day with some earnings. So in the beginning, I had $48 with Amazon Flex, $9.92 with Grubhub, and then I had roughly $22 with that uh, Amazon Flex out to Malibu. Now, I probably will get about a total of $20 in tips and time will tell in a couple days of how much I got for that. So let's keep going. Normally I wouldn't take orders like this because I don't really get any orders out here by the ocean, but I do have an Uber Eats and it's $5 from this restaurant that I'm about to go pick up in. So that does help me feel more comfortable about taking the order and being able to earn some money while I'm here. So food delivery, where can you get paid to go out and have an experience like this and make money? Check this out. I have never been up here. What a view overlooking the ocean. Hopefully the uh, students appreciate what they've got going on here, even though I'm sure they're paying a lot to go to this school. But what a beautiful, Beautiful view. Even though it's a cloudy day, there's the Pacific Ocean. On Uber Eats, this was the payday today. I made a total of $148 on Uber Eats. I did a total of nine trips. Many of them were back and forth. I went to the ocean twice. So of note, I had two really big Uber Eats orders today, and it was a double stack from Erewhon Market, which is like a Whole Foods. I went there to get a food order and then an add-on $6.50, right? $6.50 for groceries. Wouldn't you know that order ended up paying me a total of $40.53. That was great. Then I got an Uber Eats shop and pay at Pavilions there in Malibu, and this, this was good. Roughly it was $40 for that order. And then I had to get the pin number from the lady. She was busy. There were workers there at her house. Uh, very nice house. Can you sign yeah, I'm gonna slide these in. You're welcome. And sorry they didn't have the name brand or the other gloves. Wouldn't you know, she ended up giving me a total of $57 for that order. The tip on that, $25.82. That is awesome. And I was just being courteous like I am with all my customers. And I recommend you do that the same. We're all human beings. We should be able to relate to each other, treat others how you want to be treated. Don't always expect a tip. This was great that it increased as much as it did. But I was doing that because that's how I treat everybody. So when you add up all the earnings from today, I made $228. Now, miles were high, but I'll tell you what, the last few months have been so slow, I appreciate the cash flow because usually I'm getting $100 in the day, you know, and I'm doing it part-time during the day, so can't really expect too much if you're not out at night. But today, a Monday, no less, and to get that kind of earnings was great, and I really appreciate it. I do know that I'm sacrificing miles on my car, but you know what? I need the money, so it's okay for now. So $228, if you look at the hours I work, starting at 6.30 this morning, I work nine hours. That works out to roughly $25 per hour. When you take the money that I earned and divide that by the miles, so 228 divided by 180, that works out to $1.27 per mile. Not too bad, you know, I was 
it's actually not that bad. Anything over a dollar per mile is good. Anytime I'm doing the shopping apps, Instacart, you really like $2 or more per mile. But again, this was a lot of money. So let's continue. If you take, um, and this is without my expenses, making that $25 an hour. If you look at with my expenses, I drove 180 miles. So if you take that and, and times it by 0.655, the IRS mileage rate, that gives you $118. That means that my car, this fine vehicle, paid $118 of my paycheck today because it came out of the life expectancy of it. And I have a previous video where you can watch where I break down all those facets that go into that, but not right now. So $228 minus $118, that leaves $110. When you divide that by nine, that means I roughly made $12 an hour today after my expenses. So always pay attention on videos when people talk about how much they made. You know, there's before expenses and after expenses. I like to give you both so that you can have an appreciation of that. Again, I needed the money. I need the money. I want the money. So it's okay. This car is old. And believe me, um, I've put quite a bit into maintenance into it. So overall, today was awesome. You know, I used to have a bad impression of Malibu because when I'd be out there, I really wouldn't get many orders. You know, if it wasn't worth it for Instacart to drive all the way out there uh, for people that say we're living in non-palatial estates, uh, the money wasn't that good. So I have now an acceptance rate of 81% and a satisfaction rate of 100% on Uber Eats. My last order of today, I went to this cookie shop and I forgot the guy's milk. He caught me, I went back and I got it and I brought it back. So maybe that's gonna drop my satisfaction rate, but that's okay, it was my mistake. I was spacing out and uh, shouldn't have done that. All right, thank you, sir. So sorry about that. Have a good week. So overall, today was great. And I would encourage you try new areas. You know, this happened by chance that I was out there doing the Amazon Flex order, but wow, that's a great place. And, and if you're in the area, I would recommend go to that market and check it out. So please share in the comments below. What do you think of this? And do you have any stories to share as well on some really awesome orders? Have you seen the market start to pick up? Up next, I do have a video for you here where I break down my first quarterly earnings, and I'm going to go over the details of the maintenance on the car and what it's actually costing you so that you can learn from my mistakes and earn a lot more money than I do as well. All right, everybody, don't forget to like the video and channel, and I'll see you in my next one.